In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I use image transfer to uh, decorate my work with underglazes. It's a very simple process that I use. I think you'll enjoy it. So let's get started. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, first a couple of words about underglaze. When I use underglaze, I always uh, use it on greenware. I know a lot of people are taught you have to put underglaze on bisque ware, but I find that underglaze on greenware doesn't run, doesn't peel off. It just makes a lot better working surface. Uh, for this pot, I just want to show you something real simple, real quick, how, uh, how I do this. Because I wanted to put a bunch of animals on here and I wanted to do the same thing over and over again. I What I do is I, I cut out out of Bristol board a high quality drawing paper. I draw the animals I want on there and then I cut them out very carefully. And it's so simple, I just lay it down like this on some greenware and with a pencil I trace around the image and then I just paint it in with a brush. Can't be any simpler than that. All right, so I wanna show you how I'm gonna transfer this image of this octopus onto this plate. So I made a complete drawing just of what I wanted to do. It's so much easier to work it out on paper so you can erase and stuff. Because this is green, it does not take to erasing very well. So I wanna get it right the first time. Normal, what I do is I just, once I have it drawn, I trace the image on a piece of trace, on a piece of tracing paper. All right, so once I have my drawing, I put my piece of uh, tracing paper over the top and I trace over it with a very fine a, uh, felt pen. I want to make a nice dark line so that I have something to go by later on. All right, so what I'm doing now is I got my image, it's been transferred over to a piece of uh, tracing paper and now I'm going to just go over my uh, lines I just put on there with a nice sharp pencil. You'll notice that there's a whole bunch of paraphernalia laying around on top of my image. And I do that because the tracing paper has a tendency, as soon as you lay it down flat on a on a piece of greenware, which is kind of damp, it will start to roll up. So I go ahead and, and just put things down. Once I start doing this, I go around long enough copying over my lines, uh, it will stick and I, and I won't need those anymore. Now, I do this this way because it's real hard with underglaze on a piece of greenware to uh, copy it without making a mistake. So if you make a mistake, you know, you can't erase very well your uh, already painted on underglazes. Now, what I'm actually doing here is I'm just tracing over my lines that I drew earlier and I can actually kind of see where I'm going even though I'm going right on top of my line it leaves enough pencil mark there I can see what I've done and what I haven't done and when I lift this off the, the tracing paper off of here there'll be a tiny indentation in the uh, on the surface of the of the clay that I'll be able to go back over later 
to see it so that I, I know where I want to put my line. Okay, so I traced over all the lines on my piece of tracing paper and I can pull it off now and I think you can see that the image leaves a little bit of a shadow on there that gives me a uh, something to go by when I put the underglaze on. But to start painting my plate, what I do is I need to go over all my lines that I just drew on with a pencil with black paint. And to do that, I use these kind of brushes. They're called uh, line brushes. They're real long and narrow. And uh, so basically what I do is I use this brush to lay down my very first amount of underglaze and basically this is only to allow me to uh, see where I'm, I'm going to come back later on and fill in with color. Okay, so I, I started now painting the underglaze on. I'm going to start with the red, then I'll go to orange, then I'll go to yellow. Just a real quick word about underglaze is in order to get nice bright uh, colors, it generally takes at least three coats of underglaze. Uh, I'll show you it after I finished one coat to show you what it looks like. But basically, this will probably take me about an hour or so. So uh, you just have to be patient and uh, know that it's going to take at least three coats. Oftentimes I'll put four coats on of some colors to get the desired uh, deep tones. Okay, there is the octopus with one coat left. Okay, here is the finished underglazed plate. It's had three or more coats of underglaze painted on. Notice that you can make gradations with underglaze. You can mix them. Like in our, my background here, it's blue to white. I started out with white in the middle and gradually added more blue till I got to the outside. Uh, and remember, if you want to know how to make this plate or how to mix up some underglazes for yourself, uh, look at some of our older videos. And uh, if you enjoy them, please subscribe. Thank you.